Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel guys. Today we'll be creating this awesome spiral effect right inside of Adobe After Effects. And this effect is otherwise known as the optical illusion effect where you see that people use this to hypnotize other people. This is actually created in After Effects guys and I'm going to show you how you can do yours right now. Right here as you can see we are inside the After Effects workspace and we're going to create a new composition guys. And right here on the new composition area we want to choose the default color we want. So for me, I'm going to use white. Okay, I'm going to set my width and height to 1920 by 1080 which is a HD aspect ratio and um, what's it called resolution now we're gonna click on ok so now we have that on the new composition right there next thing we're gonna do is that we're gonna right click here say new we're gonna choose solid and inside here on the solid property we want to choose a width and a height of 2500 by 2500 and the reason is that when we are actually spinning this trying to make this world we don't want it to come anywhere on the edges guys so now we're gonna simply choose a color of black and go for the width and height 2500 pixels by 2500 pixels now we're gonna click on the ok button next thing is that you're gonna say something like like this on your screen so now right here in the effect panel we're going to simply look for this effect called the venetian blind okay there are two actually but we're going to use this one under the transition okay we're going to double click on that and it's going to apply to our selected layer okay now you can see it here on the effect control and now we simply want to increase the transition completion to somewhere around 65 percent guys so we're going to increase it to somewhere around 65 as you can see we are somewhere at 64 which is still good that way now we can simply increase the width like this so when we increase the width the bigger it becomes and we want to make it as big as possible and make sure that it's not missing up any space so as you can see like this it's actually good now the next thing we need to add to this is called polar coordinates okay so we're simply going to add this effect called polar coordinates now we're going to simply type in polar and you can see right there double click on it and it's going to apply to your clip or you just drag and drop it there now from the interpolation change that to 100 and as you can see it says in type of conversion polar to, re to rect you want to change that to rect to polar and now you get something like this which is actually what we need for this effect guys now right here in the effect we're simply going to add one more effect guys and it's called the twirl now you're going to see that under distort simply drag that and place that on the composition now we're simply going to increase the angle of twirl like this okay and also increase the radius like that so now you can see that the twirl comes from the edges and also when we increase the the rotation you see the more we increase it the more twirls it get like that and like that and if you keep increasing it it becomes a perfect cycle but we don't want it to go that too far so we're just going to go for something around 270 degrees which i found out to be the right place for your effect okay so that's the right rotation you should be using if you're doing this kind of effect so now here we are at 200 and something you can go to 90 it doesn't simply matter just make sure it stays between that range now we have something like this right here in the effects controls we're simply going to open up this place open up the effect and also the transform now we're simply going to add some kind of animation to the rotation so we're simply going to alt click on this rotation keyframe button or it's called the time very stopwatch I'll just click on that place and you're gonna see a property space come up like this now we're simply gonna go to the second line like this and now we're simply gonna type in time we're gonna add this extra sign like this we're gonna add 10 and simply gonna add the plus sign and call the value okay plus any value we want to add to this okay? now we can simply close that up once we are done and now when you play this animation or this time frame so now when you play this you're simply gonna get a swirl effect like this and it's pretty easy guys that's all you need to create this kind of swirl effect well for this you can also create other colors by just by right, clicking there and choosing the default colors you can do that from the beginning guys and that's how you can easily create this kind of swirl animation right inside of adobe after effects i hope this video was helpful to you guys if it was simply give me a like down below and also smash subscribe so that you don't miss out on the upcoming videos just like this one thank you for watching and i'm gonna see you in the next video